Hey everybody, I'm Sari Custer and this is Sari on Science. I'm here at Arizona Science Center and I'm gearing up for our volcano challenge inspired by Pompeii the Exhibition. In 79 AD, Mount Vesuvius erupted and covered the entire city of Pompeii. That inspired us to do a little bit of our own kitchen science and do some volcano challenges right here. And we want you to be able to do one at home with items you already have. So kitchen science, here we come. Uh, first off, I want to say uh, thank you to our friends at Bashes. They've provided all of our materials to make this happen. And at home, you can go through your kitchen and most likely you have everything on hand already. So let's take a look at, look at what you need. Uh, we've got, we're starting with an eight ounce water bottle. So this one here, um, if you've got it at home, you can drink the water inside, save the bottles uh, afterwards. The smaller ones work the best or something similar with a smaller opening at the top. Um, so we've got, this will be the base of your volcano. So what's holding all of our materials today. Uh, we're also using a party hat. That's gonna be your volcano cover, the shape of your volcano. Standard baking soda that you find in your kitchen. We've got some vinegar, red food coloring, scissors, We've got a one tablespoon measuring scoop, and then we also have a measuring cup that will hold at least a quarter cup of liquid. So, all right, you ready to do this? Let's get on with the show. All right, so we've got our empty water bottle right here. We're gonna set that down in the middle. The next thing I wanna do is take those scissors. And uh, first off too, you can do this at home with your family, you can do it kids, parents, adults, friends, coworkers, whoever you have, this will be just a ton of fun. Um, and you wanna trim your hat down a little bit so that it fits right over top of that bottle. So uh, about an inch, inch and a half. I have to go a little bit further. And now you at home, you can get fancy if you want. You can do some designer edgings if you want to make it sort of spiky or misshapen like a volcano top might be. Or maybe you want to get super fancy and you want to paper mache it, you want to paint it, you want to put leaves, earth, trees all over it. You do whatever you like to make your volcano totally yours. All right, so we've just trimmed our party hat down to about the right size, there we go. Um, so that the opening is roughly flush or close to the top of uh, the water bottle. So now we've got a basic volcano shape. Now, we know our very special ingredients. We're gonna start with our baking soda. You wanna put the baking soda into the cup first, and I'm realizing I don't have a funnel, so um, I'm going to go ahead and use this piece of paper. You can do this at home if you don't have a funnel. Just take your piece of paper, and you're gonna make it into a cone shape, just like this. And you wanna make sure that you've got a little bit of an opening here. So small enough to fit into the bottle, but big enough so that um, your baking soda and anything you're gonna pour in there goes through. So let me go ahead and stick this. Perfect, just like that, makeshift funnel. All right, so now we need two tablespoons of baking soda. And you want these to be um, pretty level, but they don't have to be perfect. So two baking, uh, excuse me, two tablespoons of baking soda right on in there. You might have to shake it a little bit to get it down in there. Let's take a look, make sure everything goes through. So it should be sitting in the bottom, just like that. All right, so here we go, volcano. The next thing you're gonna do, you're gonna take your vinegar and we're gonna pour a quarter cup of vinegar. So I've got my measuring cup right here. Again, families at home doing this, kids, you might wanna have parent, uh, parent help you or an adult help you. Kids, adults, make sure you've got some kids helping you too. That might be a little bit of fun. All right, so make sure you're protecting your eyes too. This can sting a little bit. Again, we eat it, so this is all really safe. Uh, but I don't encourage you to eat any of our science materials while you're at home. All right, so the next thing we're doing, we've got our quarter cup of vinegar, and now we're taking our red food coloring. Um, just gonna put a couple of drops into the vinegar. Whoop, that was a little more than um, I anticipated, but it's gonna make it really, really red. So um, we're anticipating, and some of you might already know this from doing it at home, but we have a chemical reaction that happens uh, with baking soda and vinegar, and we're gonna see some carbon dioxide bubbles and this is gonna make all of that bubbly foam look red and look like real lava. At home, whatever you've got, if you wanna color it, if you don't wanna color it, you don't have to. Um, take a look and see what it looks like without, and then maybe add some colors later, maybe add multiple colors and see what it looks like then too. All right, so I'm gonna set all of this aside, our baking soda, our vinegar, and the next thing you're gonna do is just pour it right on into your bottle. Ooh, all right, we had an explosive volcano happen there. But there we have it, Kitchen Science Classic Baking Soda and Vinegar Volcano for you to do at home. I challenge you to make it bigger and better than mine. 
What would it look like if you use more or less of any one ingredient? How could you change it? Maybe if you warm it up or cool it down, something might change. So I look forward to seeing some of your videos and pictures. Feel free to tag me, hashtag Sarion Science. And of course, find the Science Center on Twitter at AZ Science Center, on Instagram at AZ Science, and we want to see what you got. So thank you so much for joining me today. I'm Sari Custer. This is Sari on Science, and we'll see you next time.